Kathy Silva with Salient Process, and I'm going to go over the collapsible panel section available in both our community and enterprise editions of the Spark Toolkit. The collapsible panel section is used to put other controls inside of it and has the ability to collapse and expand. I've already created a coach, and now I will go over the configuration options. So I have two collapsible panels here on my coach. Um, so the first one under behavior initially collapse. So when this is selected, when the coach, when I run the coach, it will be closed. Um, and just a side note, when you hover over the text here, there are little helpful tool tips um, to help guide you in what these are. Now panel group name. Um, if a panel is in a group, only one panel in the same group can be open at any time. The others will collapse automatically. So I've put these two panels in the same group. Now under appearance, we have color style. Uh, default is a gray, success is green, info is a light turquoise blue, warning is a yellow orange, and danger is red. Width, um, you can use PX percentage or EM. And if no unit is specified, PX is assumed. Uh, same thing with height, PX percentage or EM. Now events, you can affect the effects of the um, control by using JavaScript logic. And here, um, I've set some events to happen on expand and on collapse. So when the collapsible panel is expanded, it will change the color style to warning. And when it collapses, it will change the color style to red. And the reason I have collapsible underscore panel here is because the control ID for that panel is collapsible underscore panel one. Okay. Now panel two, you can see the initially collapse is not selected. So when, the, when I run the coach, it will be opened and I put it in the same group as panel one. So basically what that means is when I click to open one panel, the other panel will automatically close. Appearance, um, obviously the same as panel one. And events, uh, the same kind of events are going to happen, only when this panel is expanded, the color style will be set to info, and when it is collapsed, it will be set, set to success. So now I'm going to play the coach. Okay, so you can see the first panel is initially collapsed and the second panel is not collapsed. But when I go to open this first panel, it will close the second panel because they're in the same group. And you can see the, um, the set color style method that I used in the events uh, happened here. So when this panel one opened, it changed the color style to warning. And when this panel two closed, it changed the color style to success. And when I open this one, it changes the panel one color style to warning and the second panel to info. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to show you how to get more information on the Spark Toolkit. First, go to salientprocess.com and then click support and then click more, learn more about Spark Toolkits. And this will take you to a form to fill out and someone will be in contact with you um, to get more information um, regarding the Spark Toolkit. Now, once you have access, you can browse our knowledge base. And we have a lot of helpful articles on getting started and a lot of helpful articles on all of the, the uh, Spark, Spark controls. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please contact us for more information on the Spark Toolkit. Thank you.